Hey guys, what's going on? As you saw the other day, I cracked the uh, nose and stuff off of this plane. This is the uh, Hobby Zone Carbon Cub, and the repair on the, on the glue came out pretty well. I'm going to have a little paint job on it, but uh, the rest of it came out pretty good. But I can fix up a few other little things while I'm at it. Right now, I've just got a, uh, about a day to go yet for the prop, Horizon Hobby. They uh, already sent it out yesterday. I ordered it yesterday. And they sent it out the same day. FedEx, it should be here, they say tomorrow, or they say Saturday, it'll probably be here tomorrow. Uh, Chicago already has it, so they're in the line here, it's probably to, in one day, it'll be here tomorrow. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys the repair on the cowl here I'm gonna do with this uh, Bondic. So this is kind of a Bondic deal here. So the first thing we're gonna have to do is get this all uh, disassembled here, all right, and uh, I'll be right back. Hold tight. Okay, just removing the cowl. Oops. <laughs> Hands haven't quite woken up yet this morning. <laughs> Keep these little guys separate. I've got one more down under here. And the Bondic actually held up with the crash. The whole little tab uh, mount where the screw is at stayed there and it broke around it. I was actually able to put it back together. That little piece back into the, the rest of the cowl. And as you see, it worked. That little piece is, is still in there. I fixed the other side too, and that's still good. And I fixed the front of the cowl up in front here. Let me get plane down here. And drop part of the spinner here. Put that back on. Prop adapter, the compression part. Um, but yeah, it cracked here too before, and that held. So. Looks like we got to re redo this part here, so I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, okay? Hold tight and I'm going to get a better angle uh, for you so you can see exactly how close and, or, and, and what I do. I've got to get some of this old stuff out of here though. Okay, so be right back. Okay, so get some of this old stuff out of here. So we got a clean place to, to fill in the tees again. I put also a uh, little thin coat of foam tack over it because it's, it's kind of a, a stiff, oh, that part still healed up pretty good. There was an extra crack up here. It didn't re-break. Interesting. Okay, that's cool. Um, so we're gonna fill this back in here, but first we gotta clean it. And for that, just a little simple, I use a little simple piece of a, a scuff cloth. Okay, right on the outside of that crack. I gotta find it here. But we'll clean that up and scuff it up a little bit. Where we're gonna put the mend. This just gives it a little bit of an uneven, you know, rough surface uh, so the plastic polymer can stick to it a little bit better. Okay, so blow it out. And kind of recommend it maybe give it a, just a little dash of, uh, take a little alcohol on a paper towel and you know, clean it up a little bit first. Just gonna wipe it down. Make sure it's all clean, all the residue and gums and anything from maybe the last time I did it, you know, still on there. Or paint in some cases, you know, might be there. You want to get the paint off. Okay, so this looks pretty good. Let air dry for a second. Get the uh, bondage ready to go. This is nifty. You can leave it together because it works uh, with a little switch here. You can turn it on, turn it off. Uh, or I find it easier just to take the thing off because I'm going to be using it. I like to have both hands to work with. And uh, now there's two caps here. The bottom one you want to make sure it stays tight because that's holding the juice in the reservoir. Top cap can twist right off and it can twist either way. It goes on either way. Uh, but it just covers up this nice little tip. 
And we're gonna get in here, and uh, last time I made the mistake of bonding my tabletop a little bit, so plus a little contrast here, we'll put the white under it. Okay, so I'm gonna hold that back together where I need it, and uh, as tight and as, as well as I can get it back to its original spot. Give me one second here, because I really do want to do this right. Okay, and then just kind of get it tight in there, but uh, you can have a little bit of gap, because the, the light's going to shine through this stuff. Okay, we got the middle section here we got to do too, I see. I'll apply this kind of little bit in there so it sandwiches and then kind of go back and forth on it a little bit so we get some built up on there okay and then the same thing here I'm going to put a little bit of a little fine line in there because I'm going to close it up with there with some of it in there Like I say, the light goes through this plastic, so it'll cure there too. Okay, now I got it sandwiched tight, and I want to put kind of go liber liberally across the cracks here and stuff, I'm trying to keep the light here for you. Now this stuff will not go hard on you, even if you leave the lid open. And I haven't had it spill out yet either, so. But uh, get it positioned now. Use your fingers and get it right exactly where you want it, because this stuff only takes four seconds to become solid. Okay, and then uh, check front and back. Turn it on. And hit that area four seconds at a time working it up the crack and we got some in here we gotta get two, remember? Hit it from the front here because remember we squeezed a little bit in. And test it afterwards after you're done guys because it should be done now but you could feel in there you could put your finger in there and if, if it feels a little oily or you feel a little something and give it a little extra shot uh, but it is normal for this to leave just like a little bit of a trace of oil sometimes depending on the resin that you're using they have the refills that'll work with this but I guess it's not as good uh, depending on the nanometers of UV light that's being used by the bulb, that's being emitted by the bulb. But yeah, I'm gonna give this a little extra treatment here. And she's all done. We got a solid, solid, good cow. She's ready to be installed. Okay, all good to go. Now, just to protect that, what I'll do is I'll take a little, little I'll lick my finger, I'll put a little dab of foam tack glue on there, and I'll smear it around on there just to give it a little bit of a little resiliency because the stuff can be brittle and if it gets wrapped, you know, it, it, it might separate. So just a little thin coat of foam tack glue in it, just in case too, so if it does break, it'll hold it together for you so you don't lose those little pieces. All right, just a tip from Skip. We're gonna get this thing back together. I'm gonna do a little paint work on it here. I won't bore you guys with that. To match this color, I'm going with a little bit of, a little bit of yellow 
and just a tad of orange and that seems to match this color up pretty good and then I've got some gloss black to clean it up underneath here okay so you guys have a wonderful weekend coming up stay dry stay healthy stay away from the COVD-19 by the way I want to apologize for uh, the unboxing we did of the Valiant the other day you know before the coronavirus situation got serious in this country uh, Marty and I was making a little bit of fun with it but um, maybe that was in poor taste I'm considering pulling that video uh, my apologies to anybody out there that we may have offended okay uh, we are taking this situation very serious part of that video was to maybe make people aware too that if you're getting packages from other places you know make sure you're kind of protected when you open them up don't pop the bubble wrap you know they, they make the bubble wrap there you don't know somebody sneezed when they made the bubble wrap okay I know maybe taking it too extreme but I don't think you can take this too far too extreme anyway bond it guys this stuff really works pretty cool uh, I got this kit I think for about yeah, when it was on sale before uh, price gouging uh, went into effect um, I think it was about 12 bucks I think forgot the starter kit you can get for about $22, you get the starter kit with two refills, and uh, that's probably a good deal to go with. But this stuff works great for a lot of different applications, guys. Uh, things that you didn't think you could repair, like like this little tiny little hole. You know, how many times have you cracked a cowl, and the only thing holding holding it is, you know, a couple of these little, little holes here, and the pin actually breaks out in there, and the screw's holding the pin in there, you know, the piece in there, but it's busted out of there, you don't know what to do with it, right? Well, now you got an idea how you can fix it. You can pop it right back in place and uh, bond it from the beat, from the back side and you don't even see it. Paint it up and boom, it goes right back on the bird. Lickety split. Just like it was there. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful week. And uh, I know I said all this before. Stay dry. We got weather coming our way, I think, this weekend. So I don't know if I'm going to get to do any flying. But uh, we'll give it a couple extra days for this thing to dry up and cure. But I've got it set pretty well. It, uh, it should fly nice. Thanks for watching. Happy flying, guys.